Hey, and welcome back to another video. Today we are opening a box because Tin and I went to Target today and um, I remember when these were announced and came out, but we never actually got one ourselves, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to open it up. But basically, it was at Target, um, I think it was like 30 bucks, and it has like some pretty cool stuff in it. But yeah, so it has like a wooden block calendar, a throw blanket, tab journal, some cozy socks, and I love cozy things, sticky notes that are shaped like turnips, a peach stress ball, and a drawstring bag. So I was mostly excited. Tin liked the block calendar. I really liked the throw blanket journal and socks, like in the, the ball. I think all the middle things were the things that I was really excited about. So, I mean, they're all really good besides the drawstring bag because I have a million of them, but you know. The box itself is pretty cute. We can slice it open here. Get that plastic out of the way. I guess I should, yeah, that's on the inside. Very cool. And I'll take this off. It has the little logo on the side, that's nice. So it's kind of funny when you take off the band, it has like a fake piece of wood on, on the back. That's a little unusual, but da 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 da. Lots of goodies. So the first thing is this journal. Um, I actually just got a journal. Well, not a journal. I have a, a planner, but I like journals a lot, so I don't mind it being um, getting a new one because it has lined paper with divider and tabs. So let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. Here we go. Take that off. So it has the cover of the game on, which is really cool. In the back. And oh, that's cute! It like all of the separators have like a big fruit. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that way more than I thought I would. And the lines look really good. This would be a good like idea book or like a a grateful journal, you know, when you just like write something you're grateful for every day. This would be nice for that. So I really like, and the quality of the pages is actually pretty nice. They're like a pretty good thickness. I'm incredibly impressed with these like tabbed pages here because the quality of the print of the image on them is really nice and they, they just look so good. And the artwork is like really crisp. All right, moving on, let's check out the socks, of course. I am a huge fan of fuzzy socks. Although for some reason I thought they would have like Isabel's face on them or something. But they're just plain socks with Isabel's color. Um, so that's, oh, maybe they're under, oh, there they are. They're right there, surprise. There she is. So it does have her face on it. I, I just I just lied for a split second, but I correct myself. But they are super soft. Um, they kind of feel like those socks you get that have like the lotion in, what is it called, ingrained? I don't know what it is, but you see them at those housing stores that just have a bunch of stuff. And let's take out this little box over here. The wooden block! Wooden block calendar. Tim, do you want to open this one since this is the one you were excited about? Sure. Sure. Thanks, Kuri. <laughs> All right. Um... Cute. Wow, this is really nice. Look at the look at the back. Cause we have the little branding right there. Is that on the wrapper or on the actual block? But you know what? It's modern technology. You know why? Why? It's August fifty-six. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. All right. Let, let, let's see. Uh, write in the comments if you think it's on the packaging or not. I think it's on the wrapper. On the wrapper. Aha! Oh! What a what a woozer. What a woozer. Oh, that I was wondering how they were gonna get all of them, but that makes sense. Oops. Uh, so today is March. Marge. <laughs> oh, it's a little tricky to fit them in properly. Uh, oh, oh. 
9th? I think it's March 9th. It's 9th. It's about to be the 10th because... Uh, it's midnight. But that means it's Mario Day. Mario Day! As of recording, so that's cool. Well, that's exciting. I love this. This is really cute. Very cute. It, we have a perfect shelf for it. We do? Which one? I gotta remember... Put on the lower one so I can remember to put it... Change the day every day. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Thanks, Tin. Yeah. You wanna, thanks, Corey. Thanks, Tin. Do you want to take out anything else? I think you do. Oh. Oh, it's big. It's a big, big blanket. <laughs> Sampy's like, what? Wow, that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> oh. This way. Da 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 da. Wow, it like takes up our entire, oh, there's a little tag here, that's why. Oh. But it takes up pretty much our entire table, which is about 65 inches across. Maybe 60 inches across. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's about, we have a 60 inch table, but yeah, that's huge. It's so big, you don't even see it on the camera all the way. Just take my word for it, it's very, like, cat blanket. Uh oh, he's going under. Like what's in the box? It's cool. See, lay down. It's uh, it's soft. Yeah. But not like. Not super premium soft. Premium soft. It's like. It feels like a higher end. Uh, what are those uh, blankets that are? Uh, snuggies. Snuggies. <laughs> It has like that snuggy feel. Yeah, it's a little dense but thin, if that makes sense. Yeah. But it's not bad. I'll still I'll still use it to be honest. I think I love blankets, so. Okay, let's take out this because I spotted these and these are a lot bigger than I was thinking they would be. I thought they would be like actual post-it size, but post-its are probably about like that big in comparison, so. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm like pretty excited to act. I didn't think these would be usable, but they very much are. I think it would be cool if they had a magnet on the back so you could stick it on the fridge. But these are really nifty. I like I like the look of them. I like the design. It has like that vector art texture to it that I enjoy. And um, yeah, it's just, it's just cool. What do you think, Sam? He's like, hey. This is one of the selling points for me was this peach. I just thought it was funny because it's a stress ball, but it looks like a peach. So let's take it out. Pretty good. It has a little dent in it, which is a shame, but um, obviously I wouldn't have been able to see that because it was in a box. But the, the other side's not too bad. There's a little bit of a scuff mark with the paint here. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it's squishy. That's what it's supposed to be, so that's nice. I don't think I don't think you're gonna really pay attention to the scuff marks on it when you're squishing it, but just something to take note of. And um, but yeah, I like it a lot. I like the. It feels. It kind of feels like. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a stress ball, but it almost has like those those squishies fla flavor texture to it. Oh, <gasps> it smells really sweet too. It kind of smell. I don't know if it, the smell is peaches or just fruity, but does it smell like a peach tin, or is it just a fruit smell? No, it smells like a peach. It does smell like a peach. Oh, that's cool. Did it say it was gonna smell on the box? No. It just says peach fruit squishy. Well, that's that makes it extra special. <laughs> My habit of s smelling squishies came in handy for this video. And the last thing is this uh it's like a canvas texture which i wasn't expect i don't know what i was expecting i was expecting like that yeah the thin nylon texture but this one is actually like a little more high quality um the printing seems a little bit off center but it might just be the way it's folded yeah because the edge is right here but i do like that it has like i don't know i just i like the design of it it's very pleasing I'm glad that the texture is a lot stronger. This this will last a lot longer than your typical nylon one. The ropes are a little thin, but that's very typical of these types of bags. My only problem with these bags is like if you put too much stuff in it, it kind of hurts your shoulders where the strings dig in. 
what this would be really good for is like a towel, like a small towel and your bathing suit if you're like going to the beach or going to a pool or something. So I can, or if you had like needed a small gym bag for um, for gym class, this would work really well too. Or plushies at the carnival, unless you win the giant prize. But yeah, I'd say overall, like this $30 box for what you get is totally worth it. I mean, if you like the stuff that's in it, for me, what I really wanted was the journal, I liked the block thing, and I liked the squish. Those were like the, th the two or the three selling points for me that made me want the box. And so. I think um, if you like certain things out of it, the other stuff you get is like still really nice. You get socks, which everybody uses socks, unless you wear flip flops every day. <laughs> Tin. You get a notepad because you always need to take down notes, so it's not like you wouldn't use these. But if you have like, obviously, if you're not into note taking or you don't care or you never wear socks or you don't even care what day it is, maybe this isn't for you. But I'd say for the $30, it was like well spent because I don't buy much, but I like this one. I'm even impressed with the bag, and that was the thing I was like least caring about. So that's good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like these kind of unboxing videos, let me know. Or if, you know, you just want to see more Samson in the background. Oh, he like. He like it. So, but yeah, thank you so much for uh, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on the next video. Stay safe. Stay happy. Bye. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> if if I fits, I sits. <laughs>